Hey everyone, Son of Beast here, and I'm Wood Spoonie, and this is NBA 2K24 on 2K Sports. Hello guys, it's Wood Spoonie, and we are here for another NBA 2K24. This next matchup, we are ready for another Eastern vs. Western Conference for the next guy. As right now, I, for the next commentary I will have here is right from the side, and right from here we have the stopped run in between for the next game here on, on 2K24. This next one I will have is Son of Base here with the third commentary of the crew. And as right now on the other side we have his paintbrush, and for the second commentary of the night, it will be all for any time. There will be Booba. And for right now, here is starting lineups in between the Wizards and the Jaws. Tyus Jones, Jordan Poole, Danny Adviar, Carl Kuzma, and Daniel Gappen. On the other side for the Utah Jazz, we have his Kayla George, Archer Abihi, Abai, Simone Fortaccio, Larry Markkinen, and John Collins. These are your starting groups in between of Laurie Markkinen and Kyle Kuzma in point four position. Let's head on down to Utah, and it's the 50th anniversary for the Utah Jazz. Let's get started. Guys, all yours. As they're right now approaching into the locker room, the Utah Jazz are on the start run and they are ready for the game time. Hello everybody, Paintbrush here along with Boomer and Son of Beast, and our report side will be David Aldridge. It's a great night to be here on number Western Conference versus Eastern Conference matchup as the Wizards are away and they won the last season against the Denver Nuggets. And now this time, you're looking to do this one again to face against the Jazz. Now, I'm really excited to see what this is happening about. Those two teams in between are the Jazz and the Wizards have a little bit of heart on that bottom ranking and that in between. They're really trying to, like, take their pursuit right away. They just really want to make sure we get this right in time. Wes Unsell Jr. is the first season coach. Might be looking for an R1 to take his win if he can handle it. So the Jazz takes a tip-off win, and we are underway in Delta Center, all fueled and ready to go. George, he gets it over to get to mark it in, and now finds Pantecha. Pantecha to mark it in, on the start run over Kyle Kuzma. Shy rebound, and puts up a here by Kyle Kuzma. That will be his first rebound of the night. Here's another take. On the other side, he has Gafford. Kyle Kuzma's in the center. Good D by Larry Markinen, and Kyle Kuzma takes it in. That's his first bucket for the for the Washington Wizards. Now, he's on the other side. It's right now Utah Jazz has possession. Marking it on the outside. Now finding over it again to Fontencia. He now spins back to Marking it. Spins it over. Got handed over here on a bounce pass by John Collins. On a triple inbound, takes a layup try. That'll be his first two-pointer for John Collins. Ever since he won, I wondered that John Collins would really make that one appearance. He just really made that one a great stop it's on the run. It's like the good starry high of the limits. We're trying to make that one feel good. And this one is a great start for the, the offensive set. It looks like Tyrus Jones might have that layup to play it in, but it looks like the foul has been put up for Utah Jazz. First trip to the free throw line will be Washington, as right now Tyrus Jones is a, will be starting to take two free throws at the free throw line with six minutes gone by. He missed the first free throw. Now guys, as you know that Tyrus Jones has made that one in there to start with his point guard position, they really are trying to make that one feel like an off and the angle on the target. After Bradley Beal with the trade off, there might be a one way change and they're looking it over. Well, I might have to say because of a lot of the franchising players, they've been already been gone with each other, especially of course John Wall was the greatest player in the Washington Wizards history 
It turned out to be very that long, but as all the important turns out, it just made it to its end of its line, and he just made that one with the farewells for him. And this one is all does turn out. We really appreciate it to Ken, how he does. Yeah, I guess that it was a great uh, thing to say for the Washington Wizards. Not to mention before, they were really trying to make that one off. Abigail with the layup and a reverse drive is good. That will be his first bucket for, Ag for Agbahi. Washington trailing. Pass to Gafford. On his back step, try to go over again. Kyle Kuzma with the screen. Gafford on him. And we see the last night here against the Portland Trailblazers. They've been turning it up on an excellent performance. They've tried to smash them down. I know they've really been doing it very hard, but not to make them go hard enough at all. The just main thing to say is they're really on a hard step. This inbound may be a tough thing, but I can't really tell it was too much to take from here. Nobody got that one all covered down. And you may be thinking, why is that a thing? Well, it's because of what the uh, Wizards are wanting to do. They really try to smoke out the Blazers. Without the franchise players, they go on really low and down to the ground. Yeah, I just always have to say that right now, it might be different, but you may never get there in time, just like in each hot jazz. Back stepping over again to Fontecchio. Five to shoot. Here's Markinen looking over on Kyle Kuzma. Shaw ran the end to side and out. As Poole takes his first rebound with 4.20 to go. Moves it over. Three pointer for Poole. It's good. He makes the three pointer and they're up ahead by four. Now here's Fontecchio. Looks back to George. Here's Markin. Back step over to Abby. Abby, and now George for three. Fires it in. Cast that flow. Back down by one. Here's another look. First time I will be called by Washington, D.C. 3.49 left to remain in the first period. Got a good close start in the range for Washington and Utah. In a range that might be picking up some gaps. Now, I'm not pretty crazy enough that the Utah Jazz are really like the best team in the, in the uh, history of the year. But as you can say, that Utah Jazz have been working really hard out there, trying to like push them down. They really are trying to make that one feel like we are on a hunt. We've got to do our team to get a better favorite. They really have lots of uh, courtesy moments to try to like keep the pressure going. But maybe on that point in time, they might be a, a hard one to take over at. And probably the Wizards may have a tough timing there too. They're looking to get another one to go right for the bucket switch made. Or somebody else that can go with the alley-oop or for some settling rebounds in between because that might be a hard one when they're trying to get over this. New changes for the Utah Jazz and for the Wizards are on the floor. Tyus Jones has gotten some pretty good one, and his current road trip was 20.7. The points for the season was 11.9, and looking for him to do this one again. Now, I'm really sure that Tyus Jones really have been stepping up to his uh, coach patient here. This one is going to turn out to be the offense for him, and they're really trying to like settle in bound. I can't really tell how much this is, but. They're really all over this place because they're really like, trying to make them feel like they're on a good heat. After a bucket made by Kyle Kuzma, here comes Collins for the bucket one. That will be John Collins making a drive in his first appearance, shooting one. First foul has been called by Gabriel Gatford. That's his first personal and first team foul for the DC. You gotta hit that one, Mark. And you know what John Collins really does? He just made the finish flow. What a remarkable run. New changes are coming in as the Washington DC brings Gatford out on the court. They go to the bench. One free throw coming up for John Collins. With 3.28 to go. Able to take one in, and he has it all tied up. They're all even now as Jordan Poole has possession. Screen coming. 
still covered away. Spin move back to Muscala. Muscala right to Advia. In the free corner for Kuzma. It's good. Advia with the assist and Kyle Kuzma with the first three pointer of the night. You got the good angle of it. You can't get away with that one if you're trying to make that three pointer with the landing. Markinen passes again to George. George gets back to Markinen. The three, can he fly? And we'll take it back. John Kyle, let's get back to Advia and Markinen will have to make a new change off. Just seven down on the shot clock. Bounce pass to Abigail. Trying to go around him and makes that shot. They're back down by one quick away moment. That will be a second bucket of the night. You can't just really say, if you're trying to go with some help, just go for asking the other ones. They really are trying to like get over this one and done. Back pedal finds Kuzma. Abigail for nobody open. Rebound and puts up. Mike Muscala lost that one. Good stop by Markkinen as Collins gives it over to Markkinen. Back to Collins, looking over. The layup is too strong. Goes back the air away to Abby. Akbagi, Markkinen, moving ball back and forth. Two minutes in the first. George trying to take a step. Akbagi up in two. Rebound puts up. Another miss by Utah with just 1.49 remaining. They're not getting that well easily enough because they're right, missing every shot. This angle is not turning out great. We don't want to make this one feel like that nobody is here. Marketing pass to Hendricks. Just to back down to 90 seconds in the first period. Ibagi fades a shot. Here's George trying to make a step and bound. Good cut, but the rebound puts it up. And that gets in the way as Abia with the rebound. Step move, move Muscala with three. No get that time, and George with the rebound. Pulls back over to again, Abaki on a fatal shot. Finding both the middle, and has that two bucket down. He's already on a fast break out there. I can't even tell how much this is. Timeout call by the Wizards. Sweep under one minute remaining in the first period. Looks like they're on the fun start right now. You may be thinking, we're going to be heading this one on a good runoff. Yeah, make it clear. Make it clear. Make it go with Clash flowing in for the Utah Jazz. They really are starting to go deep pressure in and take that inbound. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say. Whenever you can't make a call out of it, you just really want to make that one feel like you're all over the place. You get it good and you make it done. That's a harder way that they're trying to make that one look off. How would you take there, guys? Do you think that you will be one of the players that will uh, get some a higher bounce for the rebound in between for the assist and for the buckets? Well, there might be one of them, but we might be finding that. What will this come out? I'm just saying that if there is one way, we're going to get that one here down and find in our group to go to. We'll see how this happens. Some changes for the Utah Jazz and for the Wizards. As we look at the Western Conference standings, Utah getting a battle and bounding to try to face into the wild card attack and in, right into the game. But this was a hard one, but they are trying to get into the play-in tournaments on a hot spot. Now with the new group, here's Gallinari. With the first three-pointer, makes it in and outside after assisted comes up right from here by Shaq. Collins sucks in. Inside. Now finds George. 45 seconds left to remain, and Kelly Olenek on the outside. Give it back to Colin Sexton. Here's the drive! Two-pointer. Good stop by Gallinari. That'll be his first rebound of the game. On the outside is Shevin. Muscala looking for an open pass. Kisper for three. Misses! Kessel with the first rebound of the game. Colin Sexton and Skandrick steps out of bounds. Now turnover to Washington Ball. The first turnover appears for Utah. Oh, that's clearly going to give a hard time. I just do not really think that the Utah Jazz are just trying to step them up. But that future, however, is going to cause some problems. Lost the ball. Hendricks takes it over. Here's a fast break. Sexton on his way. Makes it two. Good pass by George. 
and the first bucket for Sexton. Colin Sexton drive is really all it takes. With the two taken in, no good. And that will end the first period. They are all tied up by 16. And we'll get the second period coming up after the break. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And you'll be just tuning in, we've got the second period in action coming underway. As we were making this one a good change off in between, and we got a great look of it in between the two. We've got a lot of them turning out. This one's really even my favorite because everyone knows about the Jazz. They can try to like step their way in bounds. They've really got a great use of it. A lot of the hard pressure it takes, and Washington Wizards may have a chance to like take a step further to go with the points over on the betting. Might be a hard one to take from here, but don't be caught out in mind. Well, there may not be anything possible enough for me. Maybe we're going to get that one a lot harder than they did. Well, there might be one change, there might be another way. As we start off this second period, as is fueled up by Gatorade, ready to go. Shamit was also with Paul Valley. And then we have across here is Gallinari. And from here on the outside of it, he has Olenek. Olenek fades away. Two-pointer makes it in. We have a reporter from David Aldrich at that point. The Jazz team are really are not the best thing in the world here to start it off with a run after their All-Star game was happened here last year. But in that case, there might be a one-way change here as there might be a lot harder enough if they could try to take the fix and go with the impact. Well, they might be saying that they, if they are doing a much harder than they've done, they've got to do something else right now. They, they've got to pick up the pressure and then try to take it away. Nobody wants to get away with that one. And they really got to go over this. All the time, every time. They're trying to get this one done straight away. After your bucket made, here's Colabay. In back outside by Shemek. Screen on Gallinari. Tries to give up to Gallinari for three. Misses on the outside. And our peaking rebound as Kessler gets to Sexton and he's out. Oh! Wow! George on that was Scooper. They got a reverse dunk get slammed. Oh, damn. I can't say that George made that dunk that impossible. That impressive move. Here's another one for the Wizards. Pass to Kisper for three. Makes the switch and he makes that one back up down by one. Here's Colin Sexton with five minutes gone by. Bounce pass to Kelly Olenek. To beat over Gallinari. Count it! And he made the shot as the foul goes on Gallinari. Oh, that is a lot, that artful impact. I'm just saying that Kelly Olenek, he got pretty aggressive here. Made that one a countable shot. Kyle Kuzma and Tyus Jones checked in for Gallinari and some chat. Jazz are also making new changes as all four players checked out. Gordon Tucker, Abaki, Collins, and Olenix in the center. Hits that mark. The Wizards trail by four. Back again to Gaffer. Stepping it back forever, gets to Jones, back to Gafford, in the middle inbound. Double man taker, good D, and that puts up another John Collins on the rebounding pressure. Here's Abaki, 90 again to Kelly Olenek. Screen in the corner is Horton Tucker. Now it looks again to John Collins with 422 to go. Down to six, they need to get some shots there. Now Kelly Olenek trying to pull it around, make the layup, drive, and basket score. Olenek has his seven points in the game, and assisted from Horton Tucker. And Jones on his way down. Looking to go for another stop run. Gaffer on the outside. Pass to Sikoli. Holly. Holly over to Jones, and now he's for three. 
another miss by Washington. They're missing a number three pointers in this game, and that pass pass has been taken. Jones inside. And Kisper tries again. Not this time. And it goes back to Collins, right to Colton Tucker. 3 3 left to go, and now find Kelly Olenek. Now again, Horton Tucker finds Frontecho. Free for Abiga. Hit off the rim. Gadbert with the rebound, now finding Jones. In outside, Kisper trying to go take the two. Kuzma, Kalabali for three. Get that in there, and he makes a three pointer and back down by three. You're just trying to make this ball go swish now. You might be saying that they're going to get a lot harder and they're going to get it. But the pressure is not really that same thing. Nobody wants that one to try to keep, keep him out. Agbaki gives up Horton Tucker on a finish run. Good team by Jones. Puts a stop on Horton Tucker and he moves back to the other side. Colony back to Jones. Looking inside the middle and he makes it over again on a lick. Jones with another two point bucket score. And you know the courtesy with the field goal percentage here puts it for Washington Wizards. They really have put up a lot of wins in between and they're just trying to fight for the shovel. But they've really been doing it a lot harder than they get. Yeah, and it's much clearer than they are doing this on their own. Not anybody is perfect at it, but they're really all over the courts. No question to care about what it is going on. They're really like up and away. That's how they've got it a lot of them do mess. Two minutes for me in the first half of the period as now Horton Tucker wraps it over again to hold it. He now finds Horton Tucker. Now Swings. And Akuga gives to Elliot Linick and a shot. Good pass day. Ibaki with the, with, with the assist and Linick with nine points. They're just going pressure to go fast, fast take points. On that point to point blank, they're really like passing all over the place. With that one time or a pass motion run, they're just gonna need it on, on a good run. Now finds again Akbaki and now over to Fontech. Fontechio again to Akbaki. Akbaki by Collins. Stand back over go. Gallery, it's good! John Collins with seven points, 31 26 to score. The old goals are pretty a lot of great hard responses and timeout call by Whistles. A minute and eight to remain in the first half of the period. Coming up later will be the halftime show, as it will be Kevin Allen. And for the, sorry about that, but it's all it turns out, you know? David Allen will be able to do his report on the sideline. And then, on the other side, Shaq, along with Kevin the Jet Spiff, with the first half of the period. Yeah, I was getting it right. That'll be coming up right after this. New change offs for the Wizards and for the Jacks. As they're making another new change off here, as you go for Ty Tyus Jones, making that one pretty well on the comfortable position, just only 12.2 in a game. But the pocket run, they're really like stepping it up. What do you think how this will happen to him? Well, it might be one way to just try to like step him up and throw him. I just really have no other concerns of what's going to happen to him. If he gets so close, he might have another way to get him down. He might be putting it all over for him. You may never know what it comes like, but it can be a hard thing to just try to like take him over. And I just may have to go with another choice. If they're just thinking another one for Tyrese Jones and they wanted to make another takeaway, that's where it could be a hard thing to go with. Not too much of everyone else's favorite idea to go with. Like you might have to configure a C if you want to do it. Good takeaway! Kessler gives it back to Horton Tucker. Sucks it again! And a free center will be called here on, uh, on Kessler. That will turn over to the Wizards ball. Kuzma is checked out as Shamit and Gallinari are checked in. Now here's Agia. Finding Gallinari. Watches out for Shaman. Outside Gallinari. Just in between the shot clock and game clock. And that will take it away as Kessler with the rebound. That's number six in the game. 
We're going to 10 seconds remaining. Here's an area of the Kessler. Open outside for Morgan. And makes it. A two-pointer makes it in. And that ends the first half. 33 to 26. And it's off the side of the board. And we will take a quick break when we come back after this. Great call, great change. Let's send you down to, Ken, to David Aldridge on the sideline. Be back soon. Thank you very much, John. You are having your way inside the paint. What's allowing you to be so effective? Uh, my teammates are part of me. Uh, they're doing a good job of trying to you know, play with energy, run the floor, roll hard. You are certainly being available to your team. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. All right, David. Thank you so much. See you later after this. And now, the 2K Sports, Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Utah found themselves in a close game in the first. And they kept it close, trailing by, at the most, four points. And they had their fingerprints all over that second quarter, coming back from a deficit and building a seven-point lead. Jack, how do you think the Jazz would play? Ball movement was a real factor. They were selfish for the predictions. The guys got shots in their favorite spots. You get those high percentage looks, good things to happen. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Wizards. Shot. Was anyone boxing out? I mean, if they didn't box it out, like, you got 50 just on offensive rebound. I mean, they got to put bodies on bodies. Four fundamentals. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it out. Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. If you're just tuning in right now, we welcome you back in Utah at Delta Center for the start of a third quarter. You talk about Kelly Olenek, this guy, he is all in hands for his motion. Turning around like he is the biggest guy in the center, you can't miss out on this guy. The fella of the player. Yeah, you gotta make him feel like good. And all that does turn out, I must say this one here, Paintbrush, there might be one way they can tell that Kelly Olenek is like the favorite of the main without Jordan Clarkson. I think this guy is going to like make him all remember him. Yeah, I must say so too, because if they do, then there might be one way that they could try to like keep it alone. Three pointer starts on for the Wizards with Ty Tyus Jones with the first three pointer in the second half. Here's Collins, he will have that button. Now finding George. Over now to Fontecchio. Can't get away around him as Akagi will have to reset it. Back the airway goes to George. Tries to take the shot. That goes way off the mark, and it's Poole with the rebound. Poole is receiving his fifth rebound of the night. And Leah will finish up for Jones, back down by two. They're getting away with this one, and try to answer it back. Not my call if you want to watch that one again. You may never make no choice of that, and you have to try to fix them out what you got to do. You can't like get away with this, you have to play response. Put it over again to Collins. Six on the shot clock. Tight in the rebound, but he just fixes it up, and that fight, I bop you. Pulls back to George. Wants to look for a healthy motion offense. Time run right down. Couldn't find how to take it. He misses the corner. Pull with the rebound, number six in the game. Looks it over. Two pointer takes it away. And a foul takes over by Akahi with his first foul. First team foul for Utah Jazz at 525 left. Well, I'm not really surprised about it because of all that happens now, Abaki didn't really think he was gonna like try to take him away. But no question is asked. This is what happens now, you get a foul. You can't make him work. Number two, four, two free throw coming up here for the Wizards. As right now at the free throw line, we'll be starting off from here. He drops the first one, and you say this guy is a, as as I've really been turning out like he's like all in a history to make it. Might be looking for another career to try to step him up. What do you think? Well, I may have a, a chance for him to like see him do it again. 
I might say it's like, yeah, let's give him another one. Well, might be tough when you may ever think about it. You might have it all when you take him. So he makes one out of two free throws with just 520 to go. Down by one as Fontecchio gives it over to Markinen. On the pick and roll is George. Looks over to Akia. Ababi now find Markinen, and here comes this chair drive over again. Over Kuzma takes it in. Laurie Markinen with a second bucket of the game. Under five minutes. Now you know about Laurie Markinen. You have getting the credit out there. Get out of here. Pool for three. Open look ties it up. It's just 35 on a run. And now back the air away. Here's George back to Collins. Get back to George. Some shot, but he makes it in here this time as Collins with the assist. George with nine. And now back the air away is Jones. Watching outside is Gapper. Open look. We have a reporter for David Aldrich. That's right at this moment that Kyle Kuzma has been working on his technique skills. He might be looking for himself if he can get a higher mark on this setup look. Well, this offense really is trying to make him feel like he is all over this. And that makes him feel like he is all over him right now. If Kyle Kuzma can definitely try to do this on his, on his next career, he might have it all to take the risk. Poole with the open wide shot. And that puts another assisted run for the Wizards. Back down by two. George swings off to Api. Abaki to Fantaccio. Moving it over to Markinen. Markinen trying to like, take him over again. Now finds George. Here's a look. George makes it two. That's a tough one to make the fadeaway. With 3.30 gone. That's 11 for him. And Jones back the outside. He looks to Adia for three. Make the shot bucket 10. As he takes it first three-pointer of the night. And George will have the possession. And Collins going again. Oh man, he's been lucky out there. As John Collins adds another two-pointer on his drive inbound. You make that easier. I just have no other choice what to say right now. But all I can say is that John Collins, he's been like on a fire run. Firebird, fireball, you name it, you name it all of them. You gotta make him feel like he is. It looks like we are going to make another timeout for the Washington Wizards. We'll step aside and we'll get ready for the next one to come back in. Put a what up, bro. And George and Collins, he's gonna make him feel like good. Let's boil the pressure in. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers, moment that inspires. Adidas. And by Starry, the official drink of the NBA. Our new group substitution change has been on the court. Michael Stiles struck back in as we go to the Eastern Conference side. The Washington Wizards are having a little bit of a discussion to take over this. So they are looking to try to like break the run chain for the updated run here on, on the day of December of 2023. For last year part of it as the run and now finding Poole and the shot. Good. The two pointers in range ties the game. George back the airway and now finding Kessler. He's on a full range, and Kessler finishes a drive. He has his first two bucket in. If that one calls it a throw in cash flow, this drive is like a hard on impact. Pull up, two pointer fades away, and he makes another one. Another good takedown as another defensive breakdown comes in for the Jazz. They're just going to need to try to like switch it over, and Sexton gives it back to Hendricks. He now gives it over again to Collins. 2.20 left to go in the third period, and as right now Hendricks gets his eyes back out. Now looks to Collins. On a looking bound. Tough shot, he makes it in! John Collins with 11 points. The fans are standing to support that. They're making a drive out of it. They're making them feel good. They want it all. Now, I'd love to see when they're making a lot of hard responses. They want to do this again. 
another miss by Washington, D.C., and Castle with a rebound. He put in a lot of great attack to support another run. 24 over 14 rebounds in the game. George brings it back again to Collins on a back bounce pass. Kessler, good back by Collins. Kessler with his second bucket. They are over the limits, up by four. Now back over again for the Wizards. With the range by Scalinari, and he got a good look open target here. And this one comes back down by two. Jordan Poole with another assist. And now finding again is Sexton. Sexton almost made the ankle breaking. George gets it over now again to Collins. Bounce pass to Kessler. Up and overhead to George. Three for Sexton. Nothing takes it over, but a rebound. Here's Collins. Oh, making it in and out. And he missed that one as it goes right back again to the Washington ball. Good, Nari slams down. And that puts up another poor assist run. They're just going down. Oh, that big one attacker I do not want to see. They really like getting over this. They've got to find help. Gallinari takes the ball away, and now back the air goes to Kispert's shot. Rejected by Hendricks. That's his first block of the game with 34 seconds. Nice play. And this one has to say that Hendricks takes the rejection out of it. You just got to make that one go right ahead. Pools checked out as Kyle Kuzma's checked back in. Sorry, Shamit. And now he finds Kispert. Wide open look for Shabbat. No lead off point here. And we'll give it over to Kessler now finding Sexton. He's over to Horton Tucker. Tries to think about it. Three pointer, are you kidding me? Looks like Horton Tucker makes that one lucky enough without missing the shot. Well, if this was a whole heavy test contest on the shot, he made that one at fadeaway for the three pointers. He just got lucky. He makes that one in there, and he had that one well skilled. His accuracy made that one a lot less possible enough to try to hit the deck. And now we're in the third period. Jazz are unbelievable right now to try to take back the lead. And without the Wizards on the break now, we got the break. Last quarter remaining, and we'll take a quick timeout with 52-49 score. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Looks like you're having fun out there. Let's kick it off the desk and win it all. In a moment now to reveal your State Farm assist of the game. This is a definite opposing making of this one, turns out. There is one way that they're going to make the change off work. And when you go with Collins on after George run, you take the foul and then you make the one. Bucket scores are a lot harder than they take, but that's a great work for your offense to push their pressure. We are under now with the fourth quarter. Hope you have having fun. And we are down to the last one. Horton Tucker finds the Agbaki. Now give to Horton Tucker with the last group of the lineup by Gatorade. Sexton finds Markin. On a driving bound, back in by Kuzma's good. Larry Markin with eight points in the game. They're on fire. And Larry Markin had no more luck at all. After playing with Chicago Bulls, he wanted to make himself that he wants to go to Utah to face against the other teams to go with their group. But not now his condensed shot has been turning off since ever since playing for his last two careers of the season. Here's Horton Tucker on the outside, now finds Colin Sexton. Right over the corner, the baseline is good for Colin Sexton. That's four points in the game with just 6.05 remaining. Shaman right over into the outside of range, and now finds Skeletari for two. Good on the shot range, and Shaman takes the assist. They're going all over the page. They're everywhere, they're going in and out. They have to do something else about it. Here's O'Kelly Olenek, who will have that one given back to Sexton. Makes a pass to Obergen Akbaki. Outside the range by Sexton. Obergen at number two, it's good. Stops in range, no traveling on the clock. He has his third bucket. 
Jones. Give off to Avia. Good today. And Jazz will have to call their sub with the timeout run with 526 remaining. Well, they're telling them that they need to do some a little changing offense. They might have to do something else about it. No word, it can't be stopping it now. They gotta figure something else to go with. You're all tuning in for the next game as we are about to be seeing this one coming up. And we're gonna get this one a close quick break. And we'll be ready for the All-Star game pretty soon in India. I hope you're having really ready for that one. If you already made your votes, you can definitely choose whatever you want before the end of the lineup. You may never know what's gonna happen like this, but January 7th is the last was the last one to be here. So that is it for now. But as you can tell, well, might be one way that we are trying to find another one to make a stab out of it. And the last one will be the Warriors versus the Knicks. And the break will be the All-Star game. And then we'll kick back in for Timberwolves vs. Magic. And we're making this one feel like a magic moment. And we're ready to see the win. Well, hopefully there is some. Keep yourself quiet. You never know what's going to pop up. Oh, don't tell me about that. <laughs> I know that was hard enough, but no excuses right now. Oh, you got to make the payback out of it. I want to show you what's mine. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Can't you see how this one goes in? You make them bail like you want to bail them out, not me. <laughs> With a new line group substitution, as Morgan has that ball right now again. Here's George on the outside. Back paddle to Sexton. On a range outside for three. He goes in and out. And as Gaffer takes over to Avia, back to pool. Spin on the inbound. Backs it up. Jones back to Kuzma. Screen coming in. Gafford right on the outside, now finding it over. Next to Kuzma. In the middle. Pop the jumper, misses again. Gafford with the rebound and takes the drive, and they're back down by one. They're starting to go slow at this point. They're losing the stream. They just do not want to take them over. That's what the problem is. You can't get away with this. George finds again to Akbaki. On the layup, it's good! Abia had this eight bucket. Got the points, and his fourth one turns it in. On the outside, now finds Kyle Kuzma for three. Jacks it up with a short stop, and he misses. Collins all the way down to George to finish the arc. Layup goes in as George makes another one. That's 13 in the game. 17 minutes on the court. He's going pretty well out there. Do you think that he's going to make a star out of it? I don't know, but they may have to see if they can answer it or not. We may never know what it's going to be like, so we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to make that one feel how you want and do what you want. Colin Sexton backpedals back to George. Now swings across again to Markinen. Markinen on the back step. Finds Sexton on her again and shoot. Two makes the layup. Colin Sexton with his fourth bucket. 325 left to go. And Jones needs to find somebody, somebody else as Gafford has it. In corner and down is Advia. Stepping down, loses the ball, takes it away. And comes to the first break. Here's a wide open look for Abia. Good! Collins with a assist. And he makes a three point for Abia. Now find Gaffer finding Kuzma. Back pedals again near the half court. But tries to go with it. Not a problem at all. Timeout called by Utah with 2.50 left to remain in the fourth quarter. You can see what happens now because of Abia after the three-pointer he gets, and then you give it over again to the Jazz, to the Wizards. It may not be that tough when you give it off to Kyle Kuzma this way, but let's be honest. It's not what you wanted to do to try to stop their run. This attacker is going to keep on coming, and they wanted to get away with this. They're trying to, like, step them out. Not a choice option, and you may not want your players to go into the offensive zone. This is a hard take, and that's a battle in bounds. We 
the closing talk for your New Balance Player of the Game, Keontae George. You may say that Ke Keontae George is really like all the professional players he's done. His most average in this game has been turning out been great. Everybody's been calling on him because there's a new guy that you have to name him. And you know, share what you want. Know what you want. That's a great offense, and this one is inbound. I'd say Keontae George, you are a star. And a professional player, you take it all. Great ones to say for it right now. Now George takes it over now to Contenti. Contentio, right again, George to Abahi. Bounce pass to Markinen. Shoots over again. That's another take for Mr. Markinen. That's 10 points in his career. Looking that is a comfortable way to do this. From George, 13, and now it's Larry Markinen. Get three on the look. Rebound takes it away as Collins has it back. 2.15 left. Here he comes. And Buggy finishes to the drive. And a assist run for George. The fans are loving it because the Jazz are really stepping over it. They really want to say, let me hear you run the noise. And then the nose to take. Two minutes remaining. And Jones on a wide open look. It's another switch cash. The Jazz are filling it up a bit with under two minutes remaining. Abaki over again. Makes another bucket. That's his 15th bucket, and George with another assist. Wizards trying the points up by up by nine, and a good cut inbound for Kyle Kuzma. He has another one. It's his 11 points in the game, and just coming down to 90 seconds on a game clock. Markinen swings back to Bonteccio. Bounce pass to Markinen over again. Markinen, are you kidding me? That's this guy that he can't get away with that. Oh yes, I know Markinen is like already on a smart run, but don't get yourself comfortable out there. Here's our final take then. The first three are good one take here. As looks like George Abia has 17 and another assist by George. He's on a roll. Look at this crazy motion. 11 assist run and 13 points in game. That's what they're going over and under. I have no response to that one. That is a turn out to be like George's favorite thing to do is to pass the ball and then make that one go around the arc. I just really can't tell you that George is like really all over the pressure for that. Bounce pass to Markinen. He swings back to George. On a back and back. Two pointer to make him up. Larry Murphy with the assist as he has 15. 43 seconds remaining in the fourth period. Toward the middle of the gap. Tries to make a step back. Two pointer misses. John Collins and her team will try to close the mark. And a bad pass takes it here. On Jones gives the pool in the corner. On number one misses. And so the Jazz will take their home trip win over the Washington Wizards on a great run after a last season loss against the Washington Wizards, against the Los Angeles Lakers. And George will have it back. Time runs down. Let them celebrate. That's what they do. They want it all. 79 to 67 is your final score. It's great to have the moment to take their notes down and make the win. Impossible runs can't say that they really are doing their best. A favor goes, goes for all. And that's going to wrap it up, folks, with paint pressure along with Boomer and Santa Feast. This has been a presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Look for more live actions coming soon, and All Star is under around the corner. Thanks for joining with us, and see you again next time. Back to you, Wooden Spoonie. You take from here. All right, thank you so much. And this one's our best compliment to give the Utah Jazz a one to have it all down. Here's how they did with the total games in comparison. 64 percentage for the field goals. Three pointers were given out to 41 percentage. Three throws are putting up a hundred over fifty, but it's only two in free throws in between the chains.
Then fast break points was 20 for the Utah Jazz. And finally, the points in points was a score for Utah Jazz. Meanwhile, on the other side for the Wizards, it's only four for the second chance points. Bench points, assists, offense rebounds, and defense rebounds. Puts in a lot of total stats. 24, 37, 8, and 25 for the Utah Jazz. Three steals were broken up, and one block changes all for Utah Jazz on a notepad. That puts for Hendricks on a block rejection. Turnovers was five and seven points off. Team fouls were even, pretty good call in between. Two dunks for the Washington Wizards, turned it like a bigger lead, but the biggest lead was Utah Jazz and 15.30 was their time of possession. So that wraps things up and now for three star players of the game, let's take from here. The third star that takes it over with the start of the run, we give this over to a New Balance player of the game, Keontae George. 15 points, 11 assists, 3 steals, and 1 dunk. 37 performance runs, 7 out of 9 field goal percentage, 1 3 pointer has might. Just gotten great at it, keeping his eyes on the prize. Now for your second star player of the game, we go right to Washington Wizards to find their courtesy of the score to take here. It was Tyus Jones with 16 points, 1 rebound, and 2 assists. He only had 6 out of 8 field goal percentage, 3 out of 5 of uh, this 3 pointer for the throw, 21 performance run was the best one to bay, and that turns everything. And finally, your first star player. It goes to Ochai Akbahe with 7 time points, 1 rebound, 5 assists. And it goes with 8 out of 12 field goals percentage. And it only turns to be only 1 3 pointers in the game and 27 performance run. So that wraps it up for the, the uh, part of game number 9. With the last game, we will have the Knicks versus the Warriors at the Garden. As right now, the next commentary will be in between Brian Anderson along with the 2K Sports crew and Ali the Force on the sideline. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you like it the most, be sure to follow him on his social media on Instagram, Ox, and TikTok. Link the about page, and that will be on right on his social media. In the meantime, thanks for tuning us in, and peace out folks for a while as the MBI 2K Sports Style. This is Sports Spoonie. Have a great night in the Valley of Utah, along with District of Columbia of Washington. See you next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.